I recently picked up the Xiaomi Pad 6 after a major price drop, mainly to streamline my YouTube workflow. On paper, it comes with a powerful Snapdragon chip and UFS 3.0 storage. But in reality, HyperOS made even basic tasks frustrating. Laggy performance, unoptimized animations, and apps that felt unnecessarily heavy. One thing that really stood out, apps like PixArt in landscape mode had blank side spaces. It felt like the UI wasn't even designed for tablets. So I decided to flash a custom ROM, and honestly, the results were game-changing. Smooth system performance, full screen app rendering, and in BGMI, I unlocked a full 120 FPS experience, something HyperOS restricted to just 60. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire flashing process on the Pad 6, from prepping your device to completing the ROM installation, step by step. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Quick disclaimer, flashing a custom ROM is an advanced process. If anything goes wrong, it can soft brick your device or lead to data loss. This guide is for educational purposes only. Follow the steps at your own risk. And yes, your warranty may be voided after installation. First, we'll download all the required files. Open your browser and search for Mi Flash Tool. Click the first link, scroll a bit, and hit download. Next, search for Mi Flash Tool V2 GitHub. This tool helps install Pad 6 drivers on your PC. Open the GitHub page, scroll down, and download the Windows setup file. Now search for Platform Tools on the Android developer's website. Scroll, accept the terms, and download the Windows version. Before flashing any custom ROM, you must flash the latest global MIUI 14 firmware. Why? Because it sets up the correct vendor files, partition layout, and hardware drivers. Skip this step and you risk boot loops, broken cameras, or weird bugs. Search for MIROM. Go to the first website. Search for PIPA, that's the Pad 6 codename. Select global MIUI 14 fast boot ROM. Choose any mirror to start the download. If it's slow, switch to another server. Now for the custom ROM, Axion OS. I'll provide the download link on my Telegram channel, link in description. Download Axion GMS, boot.img, ttbo.img, and vendor.img. Once you have all eight files, we're ready to flash. Run me flash tool v2 as administrator. Install the software, agree to terms, and choose rain. Now connect your Pad 6 to your PC with USB. Go to Settings. About tap OS version multiple times until you see you're now a developer. Then go to Developer Options and enable USB debugging. Confirm the warning. If your bootloader is unlocked, you're good to go. On PC, select My Device Works Normally. Allow USB debugging on your Pad 6. Once the device shows up, click Select. Drivers will install automatically. Close the tool. Extract My Flash Tool and Platform Tools to your C drive. Extract the MIUI 14 firmware. Inside the MIUI Flash Tool folder, create a new folder named Log. Run myflash.exe, skip the pop-up, and select the MIUI 14 firmware folder. Set flashing type to Clean All. Now boot your Pad 6 into fast boot mode. Restart the device, and when the My logo appears, hold volume down. On PC, click Refresh, then Flash. It'll take some time. Even if My Flash tool shows an error, don't worry, your Pad 6 will reboot into MIUI A14. If it asks for a Mi account password, skip it. 
Hold the power button, then switch to volume down to re-enter fast boot mode. Now we flash the custom ROM. Open CMD in the Platform Tools folder. Type Fast Boot, Flash Boot, then drag and drop boot. And hit Enter. Next, Bert Neck, Fast Boot, Flash Vendor Boot Drag, and drop Vendor Boot .img and hit Enter. Then, Fast Boot Flash DTBO, drag and drop DTBO IMI and hit Enter. Finally, Fast Boot Reboot Recovery, your Pad 6 will boot into recovery mode. Tap Apply Update, Apply from ADB. On PC type ADB Sideload, then drag and drop the custom ROM zip file and hit Enter. Wait patiently, it'll take time. Once done, you can flash Magisk or other modules if needed. In my case, I skipped that. Tap Factory Reset, Format Data twice. Then Reboot System. Your new ROM will boot up. First boot takes time, so be patient. Let's take a quick look at the setup and features. Wi-Fi might take a few seconds to enable, but once connected, it's smooth. App animations are buttery. PixArt now uses full screen, no blank sides. Some apps like Bing don't support landscape. To fix that, use Force Rotate. Now every app opens in landscape, no matter what. Multitasking, split screen works great. Tap the top bar, choose Split, and open your second app. Want desktop mode? Tap Freeform. Resize tabs, open multiple apps, and enjoy full landscape support. Only one bug. The minimize button doesn't work. But when you close all tabs, desktop mode exits automatically. Now let's test BGMI. Graphics settings show extreme, that's 60 FPS, to unlock 120 FPS. Go to settings special features miscellaneous spoofing. Enable unlock higher FPS. Add BGMI to game space. Enable Bypass Charging to reduce heat. Launch BGMI. Ultra Extreme settings are unlocked on Smooth. Let's play a classic match. I'm usually a 60 FPS player. My Technopova 6 supports that. But here, it feels super smooth. FPS fluctuates between 100 and 116. Totally acceptable, especially compared to HyperOS's 60 FPS cap. Battery section has performance mode to boost FPS. You can also set a charging limit. Mine's at 80%. Battery health info is available too, just like iPhone. For sound, open Dolby Atmos. Set profile to dynamic. In intelligent EQ, choose detailed. Enable virtualization, dialogue enhancer, bass boost, and volume leveler. Result, louder, richer, more immersive audio. Final feature, circle to search. Hold the navigation bar, draw a circle, get instant info. Watching a video and want the song name? Enable the music icon. Want to translate screen text? Use the translate icon, works with any language. So that's it for today's video. I hope this guide helped you and that you watched every step without skipping. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.